Thanks to Nelson Financial, it is time for fight number 12, a special amateur feature bout in the catchweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of absolute MMA, trained by Simon Carson, he is Rob Pelle. Now, as the fighters make their way to the ring, just one note that you may or may not he have heard from the MC. We've just got um, word from the doctor. Adnan Lowry is okay. He's doing all right. Um, obviously, a little bit of a scary finish there, but we've got confirmation that he is on the mend, and we will see him back in the cage. Good thing. Sure, yeah. Not too long. Fighter safety is always, you know, first priority. So it's great to get Adnan doing okay. Yeah, we love the sport that we watch, but want to make sure everyone goes home safe for their families at the end of the day. Now, bring it to the final fight of the night. Rob Pell over here. I've trained with him in the past. I've done a couple of... I used to train at Absolute for a couple of months a few years back, and Rob Pell was there every single day, working hard on his wrestling, working hard on his jiu-jitsu, his MMA. He is one tough kid. He is one tough dude on the mat, so we can guarantee he's going to bring fireworks in the final night here tonight. That's not fights here. Another great corner as well, featuring Jack Jenkins, one of the UFC's newest recruits. Just shows how much talent is coming out of Australia at the moment. That it does, and it's also great to see we do have such superstar level talent in Australia, but they are always giving back to the up-and-comers, trying to nurture that next generation, and that's how you know combat sports in Australia is only going to continue to rise. It wasn't even that long ago, cage fighting was illegal in Melbourne. It wasn't long ago at all. I think, um, yeah, when I first started training, Cal Potter was um, driving to Albury or flying over to Tasmania to do his fight, so not long ago at all. I ask the audience to refer to the main screen. to the ring is Versace Day. And you can just hear how excited this crowd is to have a hometown favourite closing out this card. They are going wild for their man. Looks like we've got quite the showman coming out. Loves the crowd, loves feeding off a crowd, loves entertaining a crowd. David Mirabelli is built for this entertainment business. When he's not in the gym, Versace Dave works in his auntie's deli. His what? He does. His mum's. His mum's mum deli. Italian deli. I thought you said his belly. I'm like, oh, deli. <laughs> Sorry, that was my mistake. And he got his nickname because he has rocked up to the gym with the Versace pattern shaved into his head. So I love it. Clearly never going to live that one down. I love it. And he's stuck with it. I think it's there today now. I can see it running down the side of that. Is that a mohawk? Yep, that's not a Gucci logo. That's Versace right there. And the shorts too. It's all matching. It's the whole package. We love to see it. We love to see a bit of character. And we got some numbers in. It turns out Mirabelli sold 85 tickets today. So he's got quite a big, you know, home field advantage. It's not just that. Plus, everybody else is here to see him. A big contingent of Versace Dave supporters in the crowd. You can feel it, he's feeding off the crowd right now. Ladies and gentlemen, fight number 12 is brought to you by Nelson Financial. And it is three rounds in the Salt Fight Series catchweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He has a record of two fights and three defeats. 
Standing at five foot seven, weighing in at 58.6 kilograms. He is a submission specialist, fighting out of absolute MMA and trained by Simon Carlson. He is Rob Pelley. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He has a one fight, one victory record, standing at five foot six. He weighed in yesterday at 58.6 kilograms. He is an Italian Kung Fu specialist, fighting out of Torquay's own Bones MMA, presenting the fighting pride of the South Coast. He is Versace K. Nirabaya. You can hear it, folks. He really is the hometown hero. Versace Dave is seriously fired. Okay, been through the rules. You need to protect yourselves at all time and obey my commands at all time. Let's have a good clean fight. Cut gloves if you want. Back to your corner. I don't actually know who's more excited, the crowd or Versace Dave. But we did say he feeds off the energy of the crowd, so I think they're one in the same. Are you ready? And they have fed him well. <laughs> All right, here we go, but Rob Bell is no slouch. He is an absolutely great striker, great grappler. Again, sporting MA1 in those uh, pink and black trunks. Versace Dave in those Versace trunks. Versace Dave's finding early success with those jabs. They're landing really well for him. Big swinging overhand. A little bit of reckless position in that clinch. But that take was a down. great takedown by Rob. Timed a great, great change timing. levels, took it down. Now he's not going to drag the feet away from the cage and keep them off the mat. Preventing Mirabelli from being able to stand up now. Rob Powell doing a great, great control. Right? Got that body lock. He's got to watch his balance so he doesn't get tipped too far over. We saw this exact same technique in the co-main event, and it just proved so effective. We really did. And now you can see Rob's working his way up. He's working above that knee line. He's got that, again, the Khabib-style lockdown on those legs and that wrist control that he's got. So the, Rob's left hand is feeding around, controlling Mirabelli's wrist. Looks like he's let go of that now, but that was a good control to prevent him from standing up. Now Rob's on the back. Rob would have a potentially a bit of an advantage here. He is a purple belt underneath Lachlan Giles, which is, that means high level purple Lachlan belt. Lachlan Giles, no slouch. His coach is Mikhail Yahaha, uh, Yahaya and uh, Lachlan Giles. So his jiu-jitsu, you know it's on point. You know he's left no boxes unticked. His wrestling's on point as well, like we just saw. That is looking like it's close to under the neck. The submission defense is great by Mirabelli. Bones MMA, where Mirabelli trains, don't actually do jiu-jitsu. They only train MMA grappling um, and wrestling. So the techniques he's learning on a weekly basis are, um, you know, relevant to these exact exact positions. And speaking of jiu-jitsu, we want to give a huge shout out to Sainaji and Boa Super 8 Outliers Promotions for letting us use their live stream here today. Again, Rob's got that chin strap. He's trying to trying to jam it under the chin there. Looks like he's using his right hand to go underneath. That's over the chin, but he quite, can be quite tight. Mirabelli pulling that hand down, unabling, um, not letting Rob complete the hold here, but he's going to go belly down with that body lock. That body lock is super tight. I think just to rain punches down to get a reaction. Versace Dave having a lot of trouble with this uh, back hold. 20 seconds to go is the call from the corner. That's under the chin by the look of it. I don't have the best angle from where I'm seeing. There comes the tap. Rob Powell with a submission hey, victory. Great, great submission victory. Rear naked choke, textbook rear naked choke by Rob Powell. Congratulations. Rear naked. Silence as the crowd me. takes out the hometown favorite, Versace Dave. Well done, Rob Powell. Those grappling chops on full display tonight. Another note, while we were talking about Jack Jenkins being here supporting his teammate, Versace Dave actually runs the kids and teams MMA classes at Bones. Just
just shows whatever these guys are getting from, you know, their seniors or their elders within the gym, they're constantly searching to put it back into their community. Definitely. That's what we love to see. That's what keeps the community growing. That's what helps us move forward. Let's just have another look at the finish here. Rob Pell, great back control, great body lock, manages to get it almost belly down. They use those punches to get a reaction, to get it back to the ground, preventing Mirabelli getting up, digs his hands under the chin. Looks like a very tight rear naked choke forcing the submission. Rob Powell walking away with the textbook rear naked choke here tonight on Salt Fight Series. You can see why these guys were saved until the end for a feature amateur bout. That was all action from the start of the walkouts, really. It really was. It was an absolute clinic out there. Striking, grappling, wrestling, everything. Cannot ask for a lot more than that. And what a night of fights we've just seen. What a combo of shorts, too. Yeah. Lovely colour scheme going on. Yeah. Pink stripes, gold Versace, it's all happening. Shout out to MA1, shout out to Versace. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the results of fight number 12 brought to you by Nelson Financial. It is a submission at 2 minutes 50 of the first round. Your winner out of the blue corner.